All right, guys, I'm going to make a quick little video on the Kraken G12, which there's plenty of them out there, but none of them are compared with running an SLI system. Um, I have a 22080 Ti's SLI setup, and my the car above it was running, ex my GP1, my GPU1 was running extremely hard. I needed to cool it down. And um, nowhere on that does it say that it's uh, SLI compatible. So here's a small video. My computer has two 2080 Ti's SLI, and this upper GPU sits right above this one with the SLI um, kit. Um, problem with that is that the SLI here doesn't breathe because the fans are literally against this one. So there's no breathing. So this GPU gets extremely hot. Not extremely hot, but it goes all the way up to 88 degrees, which is the set maximum set um, temperature uh, and I don't like that so I'm going to use a uh, Kraken G12 kit which allows you to put in a uh, uh, CPU cooler directly to the GPU at least that's the plan we'll see if it fits with the adapter play the uh, the hydro and it still clears this that's my question I don't think it's going to clear this but we'll see it wasn't that expensive to get this this thing anyway so we'll see what happens so if you ever wonder if it fit it actually does it fits very well and there's plenty of space now if you're going to get a hydro or an AIO like I did um, the hoses are very very small and they don't reach all the way in the front at least on this case <laughs> doesn't reach on the top either because that's where I have my my CPU cooler. I got my 360 up there. These are 240. 240, what I'm probably going to end up doing, I'm probably going to take this bracket off or moving it or maybe see if I can flip this to the back and put it here. But that doesn't matter. My main thing was to make sure that this, that this fit. Some of the issues that I ran into is in the back of the MSI uh, plate that goes up here, I need to trim these four uh, mounting holes in order for me to put the back plate on with the LED uh, logo on it. Once I strip that, I'll be able to mount this flush. And the reason why I need to uh, trim that is because of this. Let me get a tool out of you don't see my nasty fingers in there. Uh, the the bracket that holds the uh, the uh, um, the G12 actually goes on those same holes, so. I need to trim this, those four out, uh, and then I'll be able to put that play. The second problem is that on your uh, EVGA SLI adapter, that goes here so you can uh, SLI your cards, uh, it hits the, uh, the G12 adapter plate. So I don't know if you guys can see that line right there. So I'm gonna just trim that out, and that should be plenty of space for me to put this in, and it should work fine. Alright, so as you can see, I finished cutting. I know it looks like crap, but I'm just testing. Uh, the SLI adapter is on. Both graphics cards are in. And there is actually plenty of space now for it to breathe. Um, this fan's hooked up. The CPU um, uh, cooler pump is hooked up. And then the two Corsair fans are hooked up as well. So here comes testing. And we have power. Do I have a mess here? And I'm going to let this uh, run cycle through and then I'm going to do a um, test or probably play a few games to see what temperature does it get up to. So when I would run this. Um, This GPU that the are my number one VG my uh, my VGA one. This is the one that used to get to 88 as soon as I turn on a game, and VGA two will be 20 degrees less. Right now they are both running at the same temperature, 
And if you notice how how one is running at 1200 megahertz and the other one's running at 300 is because my uh, VGA one is my my regular one, the one that's always running, um, always running the PC. So now I'm gonna do, where's my benchmark? So we'll let that run and then we'll be right back and let's just see you see how this one is running at 1965 megahertz and the other one's running also at 1965 so right now the sli is activated and they're both working uh together you're oh man you can you can already see it look 50 degrees on vga2 and 38 degrees on vga1 yo this is baby's working okay. i'm excited sorry I'm excited. You don't understand. By now, VGA1 will be at 88 degrees that quickly. This is awesome. Now, number two, VGA1, the one that used to run at 88 degrees, is at 42, which is half, less than half. And VGA2, the one that's always cool, is at 60 degrees. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to up the fans on VGA2 and let's see what that does I don't care about noise a lot of people care about the noises happening you know when I'm playing I got my headphones on so I don't really care uh, babe I know you care but <laughs> alright my phone's dying I'll be back alright guys so that's it um, it does work if you are thinking about buying the G12 if you have a um, SLI set up and need a little bit more more space, it's working flawlessly. Look, that's th that. This is one the one that's always uh, that was always on the way. This is VGA one the one that was always hot. Right now the computers are idle. I have a Ghost Recon that is starting right now, um, and this is VGA two, which is a 34, 35, so they're staying pretty much equal. Um, and then Ghost Freak on Wall and it is a SLI game. And you can see they're both staying around the same. So yeah, it works.